Joy, the Pirates played Puget Sound twice this past weekend. Uh, Friday did not go well, uh, as nearly uh, as well as you or the team wanted it to. The team obviously had to respond yeah. in 24 hours and come back and play better on Saturday, and they did that. Uh, just talk about how all that transpired and came together. Um, well, Friday, I, I know the girls were super excited to play. We had been off for a little while, um, and we, we came out a little bit flat defensively. Uh, we just had a hard time. We had a hard time getting stops on the defensive end, which affected our offense. Um, and you know, we we talked about that. We watched a little bit of film uh, the next day, just of of things we could have done better. Um, and then Saturday, you know, we we talked as a team and just you know we talked about recommitting ourselves to the the defensive end to be able to get those stops. And early on, um, we definitely did that. And, Part of that was just the full team energy and having each other's backs. Um, do you know, starting Saturday morning, like they're all disappointed, but knew okay, it's an opportunity to to really respond and, and be resilient. Talk about the mentality of of a player like Macy Morales, who um, late in that game, in the second game, the win against UPS, uh, missed a couple of free throws, yeah. had a turnover, and then still was resilient enough to, to make the game-winning shot. Uh, what goes into that kind of a mentality? Um, I, I think part of that is just like, all right, next play. Um, and not necessarily just being consumed with, oh, no, I just made a mistake. And, you know, she, I talked to her after the game a little bit, and she was like, I, I just had to make up for those two missed free throws. Um, she's one of our best free throw shooters, and, you know, in a late-game situation, um, you know, her being on the line, it's like, all right, like we're we're in good hands, and she she just missed them, and you know that that happens from time to time, but you know to come back and in transition, I talked to both her and Talia, I was like, all right, just get it and go, um, and just you know make something happen, and we got the ball up the floor, um, and Kira made a great pass, post entried, um, and then just the calm, the calmness to knock it down, also the confidence as well. And I, we have the utmost confidence in, in our guards, to be honest, and to be able to make those plays. So it's just a, a big-time shot and a big-time moment, and, and she embraced it. And I'm so so happy for her that she had the opportunity to, to knock that shot down. This weekend, we're heading over to play Pacific Lutheran, a yeah. team that we're actually a little bit familiar with because we just played them a few weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, any changes that you see that they'll uh, try and throw at us or that we might throw at them? Um, I, I think that they'll pressure us a little bit more. Um, we've been struggling taking care of the ball. Um, and so I, I expect them to continue with their press and to just play, you know, high-tempo basketball sim similar to UPS. Um, and they, they have a really good post player as well. And I know they want to try to get her touches at Madison Salisbury. Um, and just being – and she takes great shots. So – just being able to, as they run their offense, they run some dribble drive stuff, they're really going to try to attack us middle and then help side come and drop it off to the post player. Um, in terms of, you know, what we might do differently, I think we'll, we'll probably pr end up pressing a little bit more, um, try to force them into into some mistakes and try to take the ball out of the hands of, of their go-to players for sure uh, will be a thing that we've got to focus on. Um, again, if we can get it done on the defensive end, it just makes our offense that much easier.